Almost 150 years ago, Charles Darwin wrote that It may be doubted whether there are many other animals that have played so an important part in the history of the world as have these lowly organised creatures. So what lowly creatures was he talking about? Earthworms. We've come to Shropshire to look at some of the planet's most helpful creatures with the help of the Earthworm Society of Britain and the FSC's Tomorrow's Biodiversity Project. So what makes earthworms so important? Let's find out. So to learn about their importance, we must first learn about what type of animal they are and what they do. Earthworms are a group of annelid worms found all over the world ranging in length from less than one centimetre to a couple of metres. Their segmented tube-like body makes them great at tunnelling through the ground, which they do by repeatedly contracting and lengthening their body. Now, at first glance, you might think that these earthworms look pretty similar, but in fact, there are 29 native species of earthworm in the UK and over 3,000 species worldwide. These species are split into four groups based on where they live and how they gather their food. The compost dwellers live in high organic matter. Surface dwellers live on the surface of the soil where they digest fallen leaves. Shallow soil dwellers live just below the surface, forming horizontal burrows. And deep living burrowing species build long vertical burrows. So all these groups provide important ecosystem services by positively affecting the environment for both people and wildlife. Firstly, earthworms feed on biological materials such as dead leaves. By eating leaves, the worms recycle the nutrients from the leaves back into the soil, which helps new plants grow. Soil that's passed through an earthworm can contain up to 10 times the amount of nutrients than the surrounding soil, so this makes them a big friend for both farmers and gardeners. Second, earthworms make great soil engineers. As earthworms move through the soil, they break it apart, which can help aerate the soil and drain it. This improves the fertility and helps prevent flooding. And of course, earthworms are a very important food source for many species. Unfortunately, there's been a lack of earthworm recording in the UK, so we're not really sure how many earthworms there are or where they are. I talked to Kieran Brown, recording officer at the Earthworm Society of Britain, to find out why it's important to find out where different earthworm species are distributed. Well, earthworms are very ecologically important organisms. They, do, they perform a lot of ecosystem services for us, including helping prevent flooding, helping aerate the soil, decomposing vegetable matter and putting nutrients back into the soil. So without knowing where our earthworms are, we really don't know um, whether we're doing things that help or destroy these ecosystem services. In particular, we've got some very rare species that we have just random dots on maps, so we really don't know a lot about exactly what their habitat preferences are, or even if they're in trouble and need help to be conserved at all. That's why the Earthworm Society of Britain is interested in training up a new generation of recorders. By sampling the soil around the country, they're finding out more and more about the status of our nation's earthworms. If you're interested in helping out to record earthworms, visit their website for more information. In the meantime, keep an eye out for these underrated soil engineers. And if you see one, thank it for helping out with your gardening. Catch you later.